This is Joseph Waring reporting at LTE Asia in Singapore. This morning I have with me Mike Wright. Mike is Telstra's Executive Director of Networks and Access Technology. Good morning, Michael. Thanks for joining us. How can network planners cope in an environment where demand is doubling every 12 months? Well, network planners are dealing with a very difficult job. You know, customers want to use their networks, their consumer data at increasing rates. And they've really got to use the things like technology roadmaps, new technology like uh, LTE technology. They've got to use the existing spectrum they've got, refarm spectrum, look at offload. They've got a lot of things to do, but I think the most important thing is to look ahead into the future, look at the more effect new and effective technologies that are coming and use those to best effect for your specific network situation. You know, there's a lot of competition for spectrum. I mean, in your view, is there enough spectrum for operators right now? There is a lot of discussion about spectrum around the world and for a lot of operators in a lot of countries, I think we are going to run into some areas where the demand's going to be very, very tight. But the truth is we're going to have to figure out how to deal with it. And we're going to deal with it th with things like, maybe it's offload for some operators, but really technology efficiency. New technologies like LTE let us squeeze more out of the spectrum we own. Over the past 12 months, Telstra has added 1.6 million subscribers. Um, what's driving this growth? It's customer demand to use services. People like to use data on the move. They're moving their life into their handset, into their tablet, or into their PC on the move. So we're seeing this incredible demand, 1.6 million new connections in less than 12 months, uh, driving traffic onto our networks because customers value it. How important is Ethernet to Telstra's backhaul? Uh, Ethernet backhaul or any high bandwidth backhaul is fundamental to all operators and I, I guess the industry has survived for 20 plus years on really building some backhaul and forgetting about it. But the demand we're seeing and the new technologies we're putting in our base stations and the volumes of traffic that are hitting the base stations really demand that we look at this carefully, we look into the future and we actually plan for the growth that's coming because if we don't we'll find ourselves going back time and time again. Things like Ethernet backhaul are quite fundamental. Uh, we've built gigabit Ethernet to uh, base stations that cover over 90% of our customer uh, population and that's just fundamental to allow the roadmap to evolve. Just yesterday in your presentation, you, you said offload is not always the answer and operators shouldn't throw the traffic out the window. What, what do you mean by that? Well, I think what happens and it, it becomes popular belief that the truth, the answer for everything is, well, we'll just push it to Wi-Fi. Now, that's part of the answer. But if we ignore the fact that Wi-Fi is a limited spectrum and a, li a limited capability, we ignore some of the challenges that are in front of us and maybe we don't face them early enough. So what I'm suggesting is, yes, by all means, let's look at Wi-Fi and offload techniques, but don't forget this data is still coming. Don't forget we should figure out how to carry it with the technologies available to us as well. Thanks, Mike, for joining me this morning. Thanks for having me.